My comeback and this video were made possible by RSH eSports company. You can read more about it in the description below. What's up guys, it's me Janne here back again for another new video series. And this series is called Janne vs Real Drivers, but sorry to disappoint, I haven't got real drivers to be featured in this video at least and probably won't for the rest of the series as well because the idea is as follows. Uh, there are some Richard Burns rally stages that are one to one match with the real life counterparts or very 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 close to it and uh, I'll take those stages and then I'll take a time from a real life rally that has used that specific stage and I'll take the same car same conditions obviously same stage and I try to match it as best I can within my driving abilities and also hoping to beat the times because that will feed my ego brilliantly and our first uh, episode of the series is going to be on the super special stage of Mikolaiki and the rally in question is the 2009 rally Poland and uh, Peter Solberg set the fastest time in the Mikolaiki 1 stage uh, the time was 1 48.3 with the Citroen Xara WRC so uh, yeah that is my time to beat conditions were dry and uh, let's see how I can manage there on Mikolaiki and uh, yeah I will show all the attempts as well and if it seems like way hopeless obviously not gonna bang my head on the wall for like two hours or so but Without further ado, let's hop on to Mikolaiki 1 and see if I'm anywhere near Petter Solberg. Alright, here we are in the super special stage Mikolaiki. And uh, here is the stage that Petter Solberg did on 148.3. And uh, I do have to put a small disclaimer that on EWLC.com this stage has been marked as uh, as 2.5 kilometers long oh a bit of a pump there and here on the game it is it is uh, 2.7 so there's a slight difference but I don't have a fear for wrecking the car really or fear of death either so I can forgive myself 200 meters And uh, yeah, the setup, setup is default and the FMOD bank in use is the Citroen C4-1. That is bad driving. Yeah, this is going to be a tough one for sure. <laughs> yeah, looking bad, 106 already. Wasn't as fast as I probably could have been. on this on this loop on the first lap yeah <laughs> no way no way at least with this run I mean, not too bad, but seven seconds is <laughs> very much on the short stage like this. But uh, yeah, let's try again. All right, I uh, stiffen the locks up a bit. Hopefully, it will help. But mainly, I think this is just about the driving. And uh, to not make a too hot lap ish. Uh, I won't do more than 10 attempts per video. Horrible line through there, killed the momentum completely. Yeah, this is try number two. Okay, 
Oh, penis. Oh, that's that, that's not nice. I mean, yeah, I know. I said that I have the simulation aspect on my side. I can wreck the car a bit more without having to fear of losing the rally and all that. But yeah, this is already going way better than the one before. way better lines for now at least apart from the few few touches to the barriers ah try number two we cut three seconds from the time already just with a bit, a bit better driving and uh, some setup changes but I'm gonna change it a bit more make it a even bit more locked so it hopefully will get more quickly out of the corners all right try number three this one we are down to being four seconds away and get nailing the thumb corners a bit better will uh, help us a bit. Yeah, this is this is not one of the corners we're nailing. We're going full yalak there. I need a better momentum through there. Yeah, now it feels a bit better already. Doesn't feel like it's getting too much excessive wheel spin. At least and more grips instantly. And that uh, doesn't just yeah spin the wheels for nothing in the corner. Need to get a later apex on this one though. Getting way too close for the barrier for comfort. Can't get much closer to the apex there. Not with my hands at least. Yeah, bad line again. Need to get more of a double apex there. But yeah, small improvement again. We are three and a half seconds away. But with a bit better driving, I feel like I can make it better with this setup as well. So uh, yeah, try number four coming up next. Okay, try number four. Positives from the last run was starting on second definitely helped. Uh, the car felt better through the corners altogether. I haven't touched anything else than stiffened the diffs a bit in order to gain more traction. Now we are hopefully nailing this one a bit better as well. We should get more wider entry to the late apex of this corner but man doesn't know how to drive oh small hit same with this one need to be calm with the placement of the car to get the late apex nailed properly and here as well this is a good a good stage to practice light apexing on. Very good stage. We're doing a bit better. It's it feels at least. 
no clue what the time will be yet. Bit of handbrake help there. Too deep there. And a bit of a late one there as well. Now we should go much further there to get a straighter exit to the line, but not with my hands, it seems. Can we go? We're down to two and a half seconds now. Don't really know where to gain it apart from like driving. The setup feels pretty good despite it being default and uh, just fiddling with the locks a bit. But yeah, not, not much has been done otherwise. And yeah, if we make, make it here in this video, we will be P7 in the hot lap at the moment. And a bit more max center diff torque as well. And yeah, still haven't got set up my nigger deal with it. Yeah, I think this is now try number five. And we are still two and a half seconds away from the Solberg's time 148.3. Oh, that's way off. At least I'm getting the late apex a bit better here. But, <laughs> yeah, not good with the, with the touching of the... Touching of the rail there. Now, wide entry, wide entry. Kind of like the Bahrain Formula 1 circuit corner there. Should have gone later into that one on the apex. Now we're just drifting wide and surprisingly didn't hit the hit the surprisingly didn't hit the guardrail there, but there we did to compensate. There's so much more room there on the outside. Why am I being such a tit and not using it? Yeah, I tried to carry a bit more sp speed than possible there. Now I'm missing the line for this one as well. Completely horrible line through here. This is the first one where we're going backwards time wise. But that was a shit run driving wise. But yeah, next up, try number six. No changes to the setup, I just need to learn to drive. But yeah, let's hope that this one goes a bit better, like not going too optimistic on this first bend at least. But okay. Not the greatest. Same here. At least that felt quite okay. I just should definitely do way more later Apex for that one because I fucked that properly. Now I'm losing time throughout the straight. Yeah. 
bit better on the entry width. That was too early Apex. Now let's calm down here a bit compared to the previous one. Way better, way better, good stuff again. And way worse, way worse. Got on the not so creepy stuff there. But that final corner, that line was good. Yeah, real words we go. Guess I'll try to remove a bit of the preloads. Go back a bit in the setup. But yeah, as you can see there on the preview image or the splash screen, that you should really get like a little early apex. Then open up to the wide way, it kind of open up the corner as well, and then get back to the late apex again of the tightening part of the corner. So, nothing like this. A bit like this. Bit better here. Oh, way too early on the apex there. Because I need to get the late apex here in order to get the fuck ton of speed for the corner, but I didn't nail it. See, now we're talking a bit. Then get the momentum slowed down. Oh, feels better. Now let's not lose time here, being too confident on the creep levels. I should get way wider there, and then better here. But I felt that the car was just spinning, spinning loosely there. That is seventh try done, three more to go. I feel like I'm not getting this done. I mean, not even the worst run, which was 149 sharp by better. I'm way off. I'm way off. Yeah, I'm 1.6 off from that already. And uh, then. over two or from the better time still as well. But yeah. A capable driver could do a bit more. I guess. No. It felt good. Over rotated a bit on the brake. Now that felt quite okay ish. I don't know, otherwise felt good, but then one slide was a bit too much, I feel. Okay, 
Oh, that was too cautious there. Oh, open up, open up, fucker. And yeah, now it's just spinning. Spinning the wheels. That was a bit better than the ones before. We got two tries to go. I mean, at this moment, I would just be happy with uh, sub 150, to be honest. I think I'm going to try to make the rear dampers a bit softer in order to gain a bit more traction. But yeah, still need need to improve. Damping pump. Let's put it quite mildly. Let's put it like to 325. And this let's put to four and a half. Yeah. Should maybe ease up the over rotation of the car a bit. Okay, two more runs to go. And this is first one of them. Now the first corner felt very, very good. They're trying to get the nose pointed and then just floor it. I think we're a bit ahead compared to normal times. Oh no! That small hit cost us a bit of time because not be the hit itself, but because we had to correct our correct our uh, rotation with the handbrake. Now let's. Yeah, it can't be that greedy. Going around the tarmac. Now it's just throttle and hoping for the best. They're not gonna. Still not gonna make it under 150. It does seem like that is way too hard for us to beat Petter Solberg this time around. Sadly. I mean, I could say that there's that slight difference of 200 meters, but now it's it's probably not that much. I mean, like if I got within a second, then I would claim about that, but I still need need to improve my driving. It seems nothing else I can really do. Yeah, final try. Hopefully we can get this a bit better. But it was promising the last one, that even with the small mishap on the... hitting the barrier on the outside, we got a good time. Okay, 
way of Apex. Here as well. Why won't I like realize that it's better to get a wide entry? But yeah, I just fucked that corner up. This won't be nothing, this run. And with two scary, too scared being not going wide enough on the entry there, or the semi entry for the second part. That definitely hurt my time as well. Yeah, this is what I'm capable of, sadly. This is very, very sad. Shame to end it with such a shit run, but uh, yeah. 150.66 was was the best that I could do today. Sorry to disappoint you, I'm clearly no Petter Solberg. And uh, yeah, I don't want to do more than 10 runs because already started to feel a lot like hot lapping and that's just not rallying for me. So uh, yeah, Petter did it the first try, clearly uh, through professional hats off to him. Wish I was as fast as him. Uh, so yeah, that was a disappointing run this time around, but uh, yeah, not that surprised to be honest. I'm no Petter Solberg, and uh, yeah, wasn't in the best setup, but to be honest, my driving was quite shit as well. And the best time that I did was 150.6, and uh, that would have put me in uh, in ninth on the first run of Mikolaiki back in 2009 ahead of Jari Matti Latvala. So basically I'm 12 years away from being the Toyota WRC team principal. That's good I guess. But I'll never win the world championship. That's that's a bit sad. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is the new format and uh, it will be like this. And uh, yeah, this can be long videos or these can be short videos depending on how well I drive on that specific day and uh, yeah sadly this time around I wasn't able to do it but I hope that there are some locations and cars and all that stuff combos where I can also be the real drivers and the thing that makes it really impressive for the real drivers is like I said they did it on the first try and uh, with all the risks of ending their rally if they did a mistake and all that and I had multiple uh, attempts to do it again and again and again so uh, yeah it, it's, it's clear why those guys were really driving the cars and I'm just sitting here at home pretending to drive the cars but uh, yeah, let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video and uh, I'll see you again on Saturday I guess with the second la r second leg of old rally Portugal. That's all for now. Thank you guys ever so much for watching. Bye.